Today I thought we'd do something a little different and uh, review maybe one of the pieces of gear that I use. And for winter time, one of my most important right now is the bar mitts. Now these really help though with like the wind because here in Chicago, as you can kind of see the city in the background right there, the wind around here is insane. So you gotta have something to block it down a little bit. And these are a couple seasons old, so you know, they're a little worn up. My buddy actually gave them to me, Kevin. Uh, thank you if you ever see this, you know, they saved me. Um, so I sewed them up. If I didn't have these, I mean, I would have gotten frostbite. So here, let's unzip one. And this is what you would see underneath. That's the back of it. Yeah, it wears out from the handlebars and the gears. So you'll see certain, you know, wear and tear. And then really all of these seams, wind does come through a little bit. So if you are watching this and you are a manufacturer, um, maybe double up on that or think about it that, you know, our, our thumbs get super cold right there. So I just put them on just and zip it up, you know. But I've had some times riding that my hands felt like that they were gonna fall off. So I, I think you really have to think about what you're gonna do in the winter time, especially if you're in the city, you know, what are you planning on doing? All the wind kind of comes off this lake right here and then just goes through the buildings and the alleys and everything like that and just pushes it real hard. But trying to ride the lake actually in the winter time is super hard, you know, only the hardest core do it, you know. I do it and uh, I've had a lot of problems, you know, like I almost got frostbite on my foot one time. I got stuck way out there and um, yeah, my hands felt like they were gonna fall off a couple times. So that's why my buddy, he gave these to me because he was like, dude, you need something. And I'm honestly too cheap to sometimes buy certain things. So I'll just hold off until the last minute. And uh, so I, I appreciate that for him, from him, you know. But it's just kind of good to hear a, a little opinion from somebody who's been using them a lot. And I ride every single day. That's my Uber bag. Like, I'm in this to win it, you know, I'm out here. I'm bikes for life. But I hope that helps out, you know, in case you, you were thinking, oh yeah, so right around here, you know, you really got to keep that tight because the wind comes in. And like you can see, if I didn't sew this right here also, my hand would have been freezing because that's where the seam is. The other set of uh, bar mitts that I also see that people really like are the Rock Bro ones. And the thing about the Rock Bro ones that I like is they're a little more waterproof. And because it's not all just about wind and snow, there's that other element called rain, which is super hard uh, to keep everything dry. So, it, like, especially when it's cold and wet, so. These ones right here are made out of neoprene, and they do get really, like, they soak it up like a sponge. So, like, that's where really you want maybe to think about if there's a cover that you can put over them, or if you ride a lot in the rain, maybe, maybe you don't even ride in the rain at all. I, I see some people like that, you know? Um, but I, I do, and uh, we got to think about that. So Rock Bros is another suggestion for you to check out that I see because while I'm delivering out here, I, I talk to all sorts of other bike messengers and deliverers, and I see what kind of gear that they have. And the two main ones are, for sure, um, the, or the Bar Mitts and the Rock Bros. So those are the, the two. There's probably others, but... Like I said, that's the majority of what people use, so they must be kind of the top of the line or people are satisfied with them. I also want to say that 
I'm not suggesting what kind or which brand uh, really to go for. I just wanted this to be an honest opinion from somebody who's out here all day and really deals with this stuff. And like I bought, or, or this, this was mine, but like all my other stuff that I, I have, like I buy it, it's not like um, sponsored or anything like that, you know? This is like, I'm for real when I review it. Sometimes people say I'm, I'm brutally honest, you know, with stuff. But I, I think we need to get keep the quality high <clears throat> because people could really uh, get hurt if, if the gear isn't good, you know? Like, I mean, it's just all about that. Or for me it is, at least, you know? Because I could be stuck somewhere in part of the city and uh, not be able to get back or just sometimes on my other places besides Chicago and the mountains or wherever and I like my gear to be like the best rock solid you know so yeah I just wanted to say that as well <laughs> I hope that helps you know the other question that some people might ask uh, whether it's a regular bicycle or an e-bike um, do, do I think that they affect the way that I ride or do they confuse things? A, a little bit sometimes like in the really cold when it's like zero degrees out and I have like my uh, thicker gloves on it's hard to get them in there right and for the e-bike I have got them kind of where my thumb gets a little stuck on the throttle or I, it just kind of like bunches up a little bit right there somehow so sometimes that that has happened so if you you're thinking, well, will this ever happen? Once in a while, it, it might, you know? So be aware of that and just try to be conscious and careful and have it, have it set up so that your hand just kind of slides right in there and you get some muscle memory and stuff like that. Yeah, thank you for watching. And if I think of anything else, I'll add a little clip to it. Thank you for watching. I totally appreciate every single one of you. Like, I, I really do. So peace. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Jeff and I just wanted to do uh, some little bike videos while I'm riding around Chicago doing Uber. I thought it would be kind of fun and for you guys to see maybe what it's like in the day in the life of a, a Uber delivery dude in Chicago. Uh, currently right now, it, the weather says it feels like it's negative 15 and it feels every bit of it, you know? Uh, here is my setup. I'm riding a Surly ECR with a Bafang motor, 29 inch tires, 29 by three. The bar mitts, which are a must for Chicago in the winter. And yeah, so I'm just gonna put the little chest strap on uh, for the GoPro and take you with me.